What's up guys, welcome to Anything Garage. I'm Jaime, that's Hector, and behind the camera is our good friend Martin. Today we'll be installing the splitter on the Corvette. the best night in the walk. The screws. So that's the problem. Um, originally I do use screws. I mean, I'm sorry. Rivet. That's what we should be using. But they gave us screws, so I might have to run to Home Depot. It's closed. It's closed? Everything yeah. is. Unless we actually use these. They look pretty long enough, I don't know. What do you think? What'd you hold it up with last time? Rivets. The last one they sent me, they did give me those rivets. The same company? EOS, uh, Extreme Online store. I bought these a couple weeks ago. Right now. What are they? Well, they're not the flower ones, but they're, they're they long enough. It's just as long as this is long enough, so it can grab that and the bumper. So it's supposed to go through two materials: bumper and the splitter. You wanna? Yeah. So we have to mock it up first with some. Um... You got tape? Yeah. Tape. You got tape. tape. You know, I have the panel removers, but I don't feel like getting that tool out. We'll just use this. So these holes here are from my other splitter. There's a bunch of them here, here, more down here. Well, we're not using the other splitter anymore. All right, actor, bring the, got the panel remover. It's in the toolbox. Oh shoot. Get out. And we get it out. Yeah. And I'll probably just use a new one. So we'll use a new one. We have two of them for each side. Um, let's take the other one off. Alright, I got mine already. You need to get you need to get on your back. Yeah. Mm. Otherwise, it will never be finished. All right, then. All right, once we put this on, we can line up the double-sided tape. Is it the one that, this one goes on the very outer edge? Because there's two of them here. Yeah, the outer the edge. The very one. outer edge, edge one. Oh, okay. You probably have to... All right, there's a problem already. We need to... Bring this down this past it. The washer from this rivet doesn't fit. So right away we ran into a problem. This rivet goes here. It's a hole made, I guess, for lining up. Because there's a hole already on the Corvette. But the washer on this does not fit here. Too skinny. Oh, I see. So we're probably gonna have to Tying down on that plastic. So what are you doing now? Uh, we're gonna grind down the plastic. Well, I just gotta grind it down a little bit. So here's the wash on the. So we have this powerful $500 Dremel tool. Um, Would you buy it? Uh, online, I'll 
Put put the link down in the description so you guys can Only the finest hard for free. <laughs> Not too shabby. That's not too shabby, huh? Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad for free. Alright, All right, well. <laughs> Let's go back to it. Remember Tony and the not too shabby man? <laughs> no? Um. We used a bunch of tape instead of the double-sided tape under the splitter because that wasn't working. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we're gonna drill holes. Okay. Alright, this is the fun part of this whole little project. Drilling holes in your bumper, especially one that was just painted, so... Okay. Uh, first one's here. Second one here. Am I going too fast? Okay. Bring me them rivets. Bring me them rivets and the rivet gun. You can tell because it has three lines cut on it. And that's where it'll open up like a flower in three, three little separations, and it looks it look like a flower. And it's better. It's better than this bulge. So this, this is this. So I'm gonna um, put this on the rivet gun. You can see the difference. Wait, is that the only one you have? I know what they are. No, if it's the only one that you have, use might it for well the bump. Yeah, might as well use yeah. it for the bump. Sorry, too late. <laughs> so you see that? Big difference. This is actually holding something. This is just kind of bolstered up in there. Yeah. You want to wait till tomorrow? Yeah, I'm probably better tomorrow. Cause this is good. just gonna be bulged on there. Not very good. Look at it. Yeah, I mean, that's not really gonna go. Hold gonna hold anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna hold anything. So we we'll have to wait for tomorrow morning, and we'll bring some of these after we go shooting. After we go shooting in the morning. Mom. Okay, so it's two days later. Not tomorrow. We had to wait a couple of days because it was Sunday and Mother's Day. So we're on Monday now. Um, now we can put the splitter on because we have the correct rivets. So let's get started. We're getting soda and ice because we are in California and uh, it's like 90 degrees. Right now. Hey, Hunter. All right, so. All right, so here we are under the bumper. That's how the rivets should look when they're installed. There's another one. So, 
I used a total of 12. Three in the middle, three on the left, and three on the right. All right guys, so we just finished the car. Uh, I'll show you the finished product right now. I know this wasn't really a how-to video, but it might help some of you guys out there trying to install front splitter, but let's check it out. This is it right here. Front splitter installed, and it looks very good. So, my Corvette's on its third one already. Um, you know, they're gonna break. You know, it might last you one or two years each, so. I mean, that's just how it is with these. But there's the front splitter, looking good. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.